so it's the morning of the show. Woke up a little bit heavier. That's normal though, because uh, more carbs, more water. I'm gonna be a little bit more filled out, so only about a pound up. I'm actually filled in the bathroom. Not because I'm eating my first meal in the bathroom, but I don't wanna wake my girlfriend up because it's really early. So just 60 grams of oats, some whey protein, and uh, that's what I'm gonna have for me at one. It's about 5.30, and uh, I'm gonna eat this, prepare my bag, and then get to the show for pre-registration, or for registration, which is at 8.30, or the athletes meetings, 8.30, I believe. Next meal will be probably around that as well. And uh, everything else is gonna be pretty normal. Water intake, just drank like a liter. Then it will just be kind of normal throughout the day, but I won't drink as much as I had been drinking, just so I'm not bloated or just constantly needing to piss. Salt intake, normal as well. I'm not trying to do anything crazy, except for before the stage, I'll have that extra like half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of salt, just to get that uh, extra vascularity. But I'm feeling good, had a good sleep. Um, nothing really different today, nothing really kind of out of the ordinary. I probably won't have a coffee, which I usually do, because um, I'll be taking a pre-workout, pre-judging, and in the finals, and the, the pre-workout is like 250 milligrams of caffeine, so I don't have so much where I'm like really, really anxious or nervous or crapping myself because of so much caffeine, so maybe just have a, a very small amount of coffee now, even though I really feel like I need one. Um, yeah, really looking forward to it, so. Practice my posing routine last night. It's not judged. I mean, the mandatories are the only things that are judged, so it doesn't need to be perfect, or you don't need to spend too much time in it. I would like to spend a little bit more time just perfecting it and making it look pleasable for the audience, but I mean, I'm happy enough with it. It's only 60 seconds or less. So, practicing that last night, and uh, yeah, ready to go, excited to, to compete for the first time in after bodybuilding at probably the best or one of the best shows in the world, the INDF, also Mayhem in Sacramento here. So, catch you later. Just about to go on stage, I'm middleweight class, along with all these guys. So just pumping up, had my pre-workout meal like an hour, 45 minutes ago. Then just got some honey in and some salt. And uh, everybody's getting pumped up. Lightweights first, then middleweights, then we're gonna hit the stage. Pro men's bodybuilders. There's Jeff getting ready to go on. No way. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go watch Isaac. Paul here. What's going on, guys? One of the original bodybuilding body space. Forum body members. space. Yeah, Good memory. Fit, is it Fit Top or FL? It was FL. It was FL, FL, FL Florida. Paul. Yeah, yeah. So I used to read his logs. 
like maybe 2009 when I was like 17. I've been watching your videos this year, yeah, so it's been awesome man. to see. Yeah, this guy's videos, you're very consistent with them when you... Uh, yeah, I try to them. just put out some yeah. info. Amazing videos. bodybuilder as well. When are you competing again? Uh, I competed last year, so I'm done you're doing probably. you physique, right? I did men's physique, classic physique, and um, I did the Yorton Cup. I did uh, men's physique. Okay. So next year, or 2000, when I'm 45, and in two more years, I'm going to compete again. Bodybuilding physique? I'm gonna try to do probably NPC Nationals as a 45-year-old, yeah, as nice. a physique, and then maybe come back and do the Orton. Nice, yeah. that'd be awesome. Anyway, so, it was really great to meet you in person. Good luck tonight, man. Awesome Thanks. physique, guys. Awesome physique. Appreciate it. So we got one of the 3MJ coaches, hey, Berto. What up, Ireland in the house? Yeah. Yeah. This guy, when are you gonna compete again? Uh, when we look right, man. Yeah. We want to be undeniable. That's the. This goal. guy is the the shredded natty king, right? I look homeless now, but I put it down, man. Yeah, pop tarts yeah. for the win, right? Oh, absolutely. Every day, all you the flavors. You pop tarts. So, no, that's just pre leg day. That was a thing. But yeah. then it became like, oh, this, that's all this dude does. Yeah. But pre leg day, that was yeah. my thing. I don't actually like pop tarts that much. We don't sell them where I live, but yeah. I tried them here. It's like stale. Taste overrated. Stale. Yeah, it's overrated. But they sit, yeah. yeah they and if you have right. acid reflux, they help with that. And you eat a shit ton of carbs, right? Yeah. Wait, you, well, you get away with it, right? A lot. Yeah. 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 Well, it's great to meet you. Homie, yeah. you put it very, down, man. A very humble guy here. This is the physique that I want to reach. Not necessarily this physique right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in off season, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hair. We're cuddly you know? right now. Yeah. Right. Just about to start the comparisons. Getting some sugar in. I think all the judging is done already from earlier. But uh, now it's just the routines and then they're going to give out the awards and uh, see where people have placed. And if you win your class, then you go to the overalls. Not many people here now. I think most of the class are done. Um, and we're just wrapping up, it's like 6 o'clock or something like that, so it's been a long day, but uh, very enjoyable. So I took first place, middleweight class. And actually, honestly, really, really surprised that uh, that I won it. I thought Eric was gonna, Eric was gonna take it. He was more conditioned, but uh, I don't know. The powers above. Yeah. So hasn't really sunk in yet. We've got to go for the overall. <laughs> Competing against this skinny guy for the overall. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be Pretty fun, then. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be fun. fun. We got one more guy, Marvin. And, it's not uh, about it's not about the size. It's about the posing, the condition. It's not about the size. It's about the girth. It's right. It's That's right. <laughs> the girth down there.
We're getting in the post competition meal. Yeah. Second place for this guy in overall men's physique. Third place for lightweight bodybuilding. Yeah. Invitation to New York. We're almost done. All the crew are over there. So we're sharing a pizza because we're not manly enough to take on one by ourselves each. I'm actually not that hungry because I ate so much carbs today, uh, carbon up, and uh, just not hungry. So we're just gonna enjoy this. I'll probably enjoy a uh, whiskey or a tree afterwards, and, uh, and then get some sleep because I'm really tired. Oh man, you're gonna enjoy that. Yeah, man. The, the pizza and the, the fries weren't enough. He's gotta, he's gotta get the large one and uh, carbon up, really carbon up for tomorrow. Oh, Oh yeah, enjoy that man. He deserve it. Looks good, it's good. So that is a wrap guys. It is the following morning. I I don't know how, if it, if it hasn't sank in yet or what. So just to recap, I took second, first place in a men's middleweight bodybuilding. Here's the trophy. Men's middleweight bodybuilding trophy my first bodybuilding trophy my first bodybuilding competition um, then I went to the overall so it's sec in, in the middleweights um, I competed against Eric Helms who I've been following for years like 10 years um, he's a 3D MJ coach as well probably one of the most uh, renowned people in the bodybuilding industry right now and it was an absolute pleasure to compete against him and honestly that's the highlight of of my week or of, of this show of this prep I would say competing against Eric it was just um, it was bittersweet when I found out that I was competing against him because I've been following him on Instagram and seeing how lean and conditioned he is and I honestly thought that he was gonna beat me so beating him was like a cherry on top um, but more so just competing against him so bittersweet because I thought that he was gonna beat me but sweet because I got to compete against him in the same class but I got to I got to win on both ends. I got to compete against the man, beat him. So that's it was pretty nice. And then I did the overalls a couple hours later against the lightweight, um, the lightweight champion Marvin, and then the heavyweight champion. I can't remember his name. I think it was Brian. He won the bodybuilding spokesmodel competition a couple of years ago. So he's a huge guy, like twenty pounds heavier than me and slightly shorter. Um, and I. You know, I didn't expect to do to win to win that. I I came second, according to the judges. I got some feedback, and I think the the reason was just condition. Marvin, he took first place. He just seriously conditioned. He just looked amazing, even before the show, any of the show started. I was looking at his physique and we were like, wow, that is a very classic looking bodybuilder. He's lean, aesthetic, Asian genetics. Just looks very very good, and he deserved it. So he won his pro card. Um, the overall was the only person that won a pro card. I didn't expect to win a pro card at all coming here. I didn't expect even to win a class. And that's not why I came to, to compete. I came for the camaraderie, uh, to have a good competition because this is one of the best competitions in, in natural bodybuilding. So I wanted to travel here to, to compete in that competition in the Muscle Mayhem. So I'm really, really happy with how, with how it turned out. Like I'm, I'm overjoyed with the fact that I won. And I got an invitation to the Worlds in November. I don't know if I'm going to do that, to be honest. I'm just kind of sick of dieting. I've got four or five more weeks until Mr. Ireland, NBFI Natural. So I'm going to try and be as competitive as I can there. And uh, I'm going to shoot for the overall in that competition. Lose a couple more pounds. And then I'll like have a, a very, very good physique. Or I'll be very pleased with my physique then. Not that I'm not pleased now. But peaked very, very well. Um, the last few days of competition my physique transformed just adding in those extra carbs to my body just sucked them up I just looked leaner I looked fuller and um, yeah it was just just it, it just went very well towards the end 
and uh, I'm very very pleased so went out last night uh, I was wrecked because of I did like three or four pump ups a lot of sodium a lot of pumping ups so I was exhausted just had a half a pizza I'm not I wasn't that hungry and some french fries chips um, because I wasn't that hungry because I've been eating a lot of carbs from the the peak week so you know a lot of food in me I ate like a lot of honey uh, Reese's peanut butter cups which are the magic sauce and um, and a, five meals of rice and like ground beef or whatever as well so I actually wasn't hungry so I got another show to do and also I just didn't want to be gluttonous and just gain you know too much excess water weight for the sake of it so just did that and had a nice glass of whiskey Jack Daniels which I look forward to and um, just gonna enjoy it relax I uh, got a few days here in California gonna travel around and uh, just you know not track this week just eat relatively well be mindful of what I eat and um, I'm not stressed too much so it's pretty much it guys it was a great show and um, yeah looking forward to just relaxing a little bit for the next few days and uh, and then getting back on the grind when I get back to Dublin so great show overall met so many amazing people Matt August Jeff Nippard uh, Chris Elkins so many guys and uh, yeah that was it peace